Hey guys, welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm your host, Corey Nockreiner. Today's news is around some information security related legal cases. The big one being the ruling against Barrett Brown. This is the guy who is a journalist, but also had some relation to Anonymous. In any case, he was put to trial for sharing a link to Stratford's stolen information on Twitter and other social networks. And according to today's ruling, he's going to get around five years in prison. Now, I really don't love Barrett Brown. I didn't like his relation to Anonymous, and he's posted some really stupid videos about not letting the FBI take him alive. That said, the idea of making it illegal to post links to certain information might be dangerous. For instance, a lot of uh, illicit information often gets posted on Pastebin, and many journalists and even many security experts pay attention to some of these password hash file leaks and things like that for good security reasons. Reasons. We don't want to make that kind of research illegal. This also comes at a time where Obama's asked for some changes to cyber legislation. And some of these changes have to do with the Computer Fraud and Abuse Act, the CFAA. And some of the wording in these changes are a little too loose, and they might make a computer researcher's job a lot harder and potentially illegal. So as much as I don't love Barrett Brown, I'm not sure I love the ruling on this case, and I hope it goes to appeal. On top of that, just as an aside, the alleged uh, webmaster for the Silk Road is also having his trial right now. So there's a lot of interesting news about that too. You might want to check it out. Finally, just a quick update on yesterday. There's a zero-day flash flaw. Well, Adobe quickly released a patch today, so if you have Flash, go get it. That's it for today's show. Thanks for watching.